Hey there, Frodo. It's time for another stream. Okay, so this is what day again? This is July... July what? July 9th, okay. Um, so we did that. Yeah, I think now we're just up to the... Up to the fortress, I believe. Okay. The final one, indeed. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna just get get started here. So hey there, guys. It's time for some more Cold Steel 3. On the last stream, we ended up um, primarily just doing a lot of quests around here. We 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 um, did the exams last stream as well. Let me just take a sip of water here too. And now, we are pretty much fully um, caught up on all the side events and stuff here, so all that's left to do really is just the, um, is just the, um, the Iron Hell Fortress. Though I do want to do some stuff with my equipment if possible, like, so I'm, I'm, I'll go check out the stores here and see what's up. Oh my god. Okay, so, we have some new armor here, which is not objectively better than what we currently have, but, okay, wait, so how, so, I, I might not buy this for Rain because Rain is just, like, really, because that brings down his shit a lot, 107, 112, well, actually, it's 808, um, 127, honestly, I guess that's not too bad, like, art attack's not really a big deal, yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably just buy this for Rain because why not, but, um, Let's see, that goes down a bit. Actually, the stat decreases here are super minor and extremely, um, extremely negligible. So I'm pretty sure I could just buy. I'm. I think I, I could just buy these and not really care. <laughs> yeah, I think I will just do that honestly. We do have some money to burn, so might as well. For the boots, the boots, the boots. Um, you know, four. That goes down a bit, but yeah, I mean, that gets more movement there. Yeah, the strength does go down a bit. Uh, it's actually not. It's actually really bad for Yuna you know, there, but for everyone else, it's kind of all right. Yeah, it's not like because our attack is a very is a stat that I don't really care about too much. And the and the strength de decreases are pretty are pretty small, honestly. Like it's not really a big deal. There will certainly be upgraded gender variants for for armor later in, in the chapter, but for now, I think that works really well, especially for the final um 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 fortress level too. So that should be good. Suck my asshole. Hi there, Michael. <laughs> I do like Michael Qu um, um, quite a bit. He's one of the more underrated characters, I think. Uh-oh. Suck on my dick, 
fucking dog, oh my god. How the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we haven't done any um, um cooking in a while, huh? Chunky salad poggers. Um, the sh the so okay. Wait, we do have a fair amount of in of ingredients, so I should might as well here. Um. Who knows how it'll end up? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I got this covered. <laughs> there you go. Nice. So we got all that. Let's do this. All right. All right. <laughs> Initiate cooking mode. Better than eggs. No. Let's begin. There is a guide I could use for the for the cooking, but honestly, I don't think it's really worth the hassle. Please eat it all, even if it's not good. <laughs> Whoopsie. Try Machias here or Laura, I don't know. Mm, let's give this a try. I'm quite proud of this. Oh nice job there, Machias. Let's begin. Ugh, what? <laughs> Jesus, Lisa. <laughs> I'll handle this. Thank you, young Xehanort. What happened? <laughs> Yo, these these voice lines are so good. Oh my god. I got this in a bag. Mm-hmm. Please eat it all. Even if it's not good. No. Let's begin. Let me try out Emma now. <laughs> Let's begin. Let's begin. Please have a taste. Thank you very much there, Emma. Now, let's begin. Oh, this is good. Uh, I'll show you out. You're gonna hear. I got this in the bag. Mm-hmm. Huh, what a pain. Just eat it already. Initiate cooking mode. Yes. Let's do this. I am really grateful for the change where you're able to cook with people not in the party. Like, that saves so much time. And a lot of stress too, honestly. Alright, so... We're almost caught up here for the most part. Let's do this. Alright! Alright! It's not good. I can't tell if Musée is supposed to be a good cook or if she's just supposed to be like really bad. Let's give it a try. This is quite. Who knows how it'll end up? <laughs> oh, that's um. I'll handle this. Hi, Thanks for waiting. I got this in the bag. Mm-hmm. Allow me to prepare something. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, I'll handle this. Yeah, I think we'll stop here for now, and then we'll do some more um um cooking down the line here. We made quite a bit of quite a bit of, of um of um progress though, honestly. All right, and now to the gates. Well, actually, I do want to check out some court stuff here for for a quick second. I'll help. I'll help. 
Break 3 is pretty nice though. I, I, I might grab that maybe. Tier all. HP tree. Honestly, not like. I don't like. This selection isn't amazing. <laughs> I'll cap into V3, sure. Like, it's not bad, but like. I could do without a lot of these, honestly. Ah, I'll be in a wolf. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, that's actually a- ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. I do like the sound of that. Thanks. Okay, I think Reen's is, Reen is good. Yuna, I think you're good as well. I'll give you a P3. Kurt, I want to make you an, an, an action 3 if possible. HP that as well. I'll give you i I'll give you a V3 though. Yeah, I think for the for the most part we're kinda good here. Let's see, let's say HP3 and action three. I do want to make two of those if possible and then and then um that'll be good. Yes. Cast three on me too. I give that to Amuse because why not? Oh, she already has one. Oh, yeah. I I give her a cast two and a cast three. Who's our, who's really great here with arts? I think it's gonna probably be you know that I give that to honestly. Miyako is nice to have though. Mew Mew isn't that great. <laughs> it's okay. What I could do without it. Okay, I think we're set to go here, finally. To the keep to go! Schwarzer, are you ready to begin? Hmm? No, not yet. You seem tired. Did you stay up a lot? Um, did you stay up all night? You shouldn't push, your, push yourself too much when when George isn't around. Hmm, this is this is nothing. I was able to discover quite a bit about that ion. That one ion. You've been researching it since last month. Did you discover something about its power to mani to mani to manipulate space? There is one thing I can say for certain. The ion itself does not contain any sort of a mechanism that would allow it's, it to manipulate space. That's a small. That's a small um, typo there. What? Though it has some suspicious components, they don't grant it the the ability to perform such feats as teleportation and erasing things from existence. In other words, that machine alone is incapable of creating miracles. Which then begs the question: Where did those abilities come from? I did hear a rumor about a, a, about a Zero Child who possessed the power of Crossbell Septeria. And yeah, that power was then channeled to the original Ions, giving them ex extraordinary strength. If all that's true, then do you think the same thing is happening now? Yes, that is almost undoubtedly the case. Something is imbuing these new models of Ion with power. I'm certain the key to all this lies in the spirit veins. When we consider the concept of orbital energy, 
both time and distance are completely irrelevant. But at the moment, I can't even begin to fathom the source these machines are drawing so much so much power from. The Society's experiments were most slightly simple proof of concept trials. Thank you, Professor. This information will be a big help. You really are an amazing person. Uh, enough. It's not as though I didn't have ample clues to go off of. Something similar happened in, Le in Liberal. The incident Albert's grandchild was involved in was also an experiment the Society was carrying out. An artifact known as the Gospel had a similar role. Oh, I heard something s similar from a bracer. Hmm, what about the Pleromograss? In Crossbell, they said something about it... Uh, they said something about it to bring you closer to the Divine. Hmm, that doesn't interest me at, at all. It's completely removed from my field. You're on your own there. I suppose so. But anyway, thank you for all the information. Hmm. I wasted too much time talking. Are you not here for, for the keep trial? All right. From the, from the sound of it, you're just talking about uh, um coming up on a on a breakthrough, huh? Yes, I've gotten quite a bit of valuable data by this point. Today's trial will be a good su um summary of everything so far for both class seven and my f and my fourth dis disciple. Tita, what does she have to do with today's trial? You haven't heard? Hmm, I see. If that is all, we, we will begin the trial now. Inform me when you are er, when you are ready. Yeah, I'm ready to begin. Hmm, then gather your students here. It is time. I trust you have it ready. Yes, I'm ready, or I will be in 10 minutes or so. You have five, but that's all. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that it definitely sounds like a typical conversation between them, but what about, but what could they be talking about? Huh, <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. I'm getting a, 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 I'm getting a little excited. I'm glad to see everyone so pumped up. It seems um, today's trial will be a culmination of every trial thus far. If that's true, then it's best that it's a, then it's the best way to show off everything we've learned. Thank you for waiting. Something's coming. Is that? The automatic balancer is working like a charm. I'd say it passes the basic movement test. Oh wow. Have you been working on this this whole time? Yep, this is a bipedal armor unit called an Orwell Gear, originally developed by ZCF. This is actually the third prototype. Hmm, reminds me of Albert's designs. It seems flying this in, in from the Burl to work on has finally paid off, hmm. It looks armed. Wait, does that mean... Tita, are you going to join us today? Yes. I asked... Um, I asked Yuna and the others earlier today. Um, um, today. Due to the Orbital Gear's current design, I thought a small squad would be the perfect size for gathering data. I see. It looks like a completely different kind of uh, of machine compared to the Panzer Soldats. We got permission from the professor, so I figured that now is the perfect chance. So we have a request instructor. Might we conduct this trial without your without your assistance? Huh? Yeah, when you when you come along, you t you tend to snatch all the glory for yourself. Besides, we feel we've grown a lot from our experience at the at the naval fortress the other day. We figured it would be nice for you to be watching us at our best. Let us sh show you how strong we can be without your help, please. You guys.
Alright, I'll respect your wishes. I can't say I don't want to go in there with you, but I guess this is part of my duties as an instructor, too. Really? This shtick again? What are you, some overprotective parent? Hey, give me a break. I'm still in my first year of teaching. Alright, let's start the briefing. For today's trial, the orbital gear will be set to follow you. You will abort it during combat. Be sure to thoroughly test its operations. Y yes. Wow, it's way more high tech than I expected. It's very versatile, in, in a different way from from Clown I'll be I'll be watching you all from the control room. I'll do my best to nav to navigate you in Tita's stead, but be sure to be cautious. In addition, we can test out remote orders. Rem remote or um orders. As in, using the Arcus 2's order function remotely. It should be possible, in theory. Demonstration tests on it have been performed. There's no reason to not contribute to, in to improving the Foundation's technology. Understood. Dee, even when we're apart, it'll be as if- it'll be as though you're- you're right there by my side. Huh. I'll try not to see what the big deal is. Well, that's it for the briefing. As usual, take the elevator when you're ready. When you're ready to start. This will be another sort of test for Class Seven, just like the exams. Class Seven, and Tita too. Show us how strong you've become. Yes. Yeah. Pleased to join you all. All right, so we're, I'm gonna bring in Tita here. <laughs> I'll take out Imuze for now. Actually, I'll take out Ash and bring her in. <coughs> okay, so her setup is pretty good. <laughs> it's it's really weird to be talking to Reen. We're finally gonna get the show on the road. Based on our previous expeditions, we can assume that that on level four will be quite challenging. No kidding. The monsters were wandering around here seem pretty intense. This is Reen. Can you hear me? Looks like you guys are at the starting point now. We'll begin. We'll begin navigation. I can give you combat orders from here, but you'll need to figure out the timing yourselves. Understood. Please be gentle with us. Make use of the machine's various ornaments as the situation demands. The best way to d to determine if they meet your standards is to test them yourself. Right. This will, this will be my first time on the side of the loudspeaker, but it's nice to be able to work with you guys. Yes, we'll be rely on you. After all, you're one of the people who will save the world. From the side of it, we need to put that machine of yours through its paces. Your your Arcus suit can do combat links just fine, yeah? Yep, everything's good to go. Alright, let's get started then. Alright, Class 7, T to 2, let's do this. Right. There are two main paths, one of which is a dead end. Check the data on the map I sent you on. Understood. Alrighty. We strike. We we strike. Let's go. There. Yeah. So here's here's Tita in the orbital gear. So she has hard straight. It's pretty damn big. Shaft grenade, heavy excel, and 
and Vital Cannon, which is which is a pretty good heal. Nice. Let's do a quick scan. I think this is an upgraded form of the one she 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 had in third. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very well. Yeah. Is that all? <sighs> that takes care of that. Continuing the search. She's actually super strong. Yeah, we can't afford to slack off. I won't go easy. Let's do a scan here as well. My turn. My turn. There. Yes. Arcus after me. Yes. Charge up. Thanks for the Here help. Here we go. It's my turn. Ha. Another chance. Ta-ta. Very well. Ha. Yes. Ha. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah, she has this, like such a. Like a super squeaky voice. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we can play as her on the field too. There. It's pretty good for long range um, on field attacks, actually. Ah shit. Run, Tina! Oh, fuck! Boggers. Your chest. Ooh, nice. Diamond Nova R. It's my turn. It's my turn now. It's my turn now. Down this way now. It's actually a really OP field attack. My God, that's like a, that's a really OP field attack. Because it's it's, it's 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 both long range and it could just stun from from far away too. That's really that's really broken. an auto aim on this which makes it a bit hard to like aim directly sometimes let's go down this way first broken my turn It's my turn. It's my turn. My 
Nice. I'm going. Let's go. Ta-ta. We did it. Ooh, that's all something good. Good. All right. All thanks to your help, Tita. More vision is always a great thing. A bunch of Sabbath, nice. Oh, we got a, a big guy here, a force fight. Be on guard. It's strong. Yeah, so she has her own Brave Order 2 Blast Force. That's four BB2, my god. Eight turns of 40% more damage. Strength and defense buff 2. That's pretty nice. That is very, very nice. Okay. I'll go for Sledgehammer. I'll go for Sledgehammer first, though. Pretty dangerous. We cleared it somehow. The Yorval Gear 3's performance was quite impressive. Tio, Tio um, helped you somewhere along the way, right? That's right. One of the versions of the Orbal 2, um, of the Orbal Gear 2, the Idolan Gear, was developed jointly with the, with the Foundation. We used the production data from that and the Erebonia's Panzer Soldats to develop this new model. Well, it's got nothing on, on the Panzer Soldat when it comes to battle. Well, it's pretty versatile and it can get to spots a Soldat can't. Agreed. It almost seems like a more of a tool than a weapon. It looks as though it'll be incredibly useful to for rescue and recovery during a, a disaster. It makes me so happy to hear that f from you guys. However, why are you a student? So intent on, de on developing a machine like this. It doesn't seem like your aim is to create a, a weapon to surpass the Panzer Soldats. Allie, it's rude to be in nosy like that. But to be honest, I really want to know too. Things were rough after the Hundred Days War, but these days, Era, Abonia, and Liberal have a pretty stable r relationship. Even so, it was a bit of a surprise that you'd come here to, to um, study. A weapon surpassed Metal Gear. <laughs> From what I hear, Professor Schmidt and your grandfather were both disciples under Epstein together. Yes. There were a few reasons, but one of them is because I want to grow as an engineer. Another reason is because I wanted to come help Erebonia in place of some people very dear to me who couldn't make it here. And also, I made a promise to a friend. A promise? She's so amazing. She's the kind of person who can do anything she puts her mind to. She lost her family when she was young, but she found a new one and is living happily with them. She actually wanted to visit Erebonia and Crossbell, but some things came up and she couldn't make it. But she didn't let that get her down. She continued her schooling in Liberal, and now she helps with bracer work and orbital network tests. I couldn't keep up. All I could do was admire her. But then I realized she's just doing whatever she can and giving it her all on behalf of the family she lost and the new one she found. It was around that time I found out from George and Olivier that a new school was about to be opened up in Erebonia and the famous Professor Schmidt would be an advisor. And since the guild was having trouble here, I get in another bracer would be sent over. So I talked with the people dear to me and told them I wanted to attend Thor's branch campus to expand my potential. Since it was sort of out of the blue, most of them were against it. But that friend of mine supported me and convinced everyone else to let me go. She told me, Tita, let's make a promise. I know everyone else will tell you to stay safe and not to push yourself too hard. So I won't say that stuff to you. Next time we meet, let's show each other the result of one thing we worked really hard to achieve. 
She sounds like a really good friend. Yes, I'm a bit, I'm a bit jealous. I see, so this machine is the thing you're going to show her. She's already told me all about this friend of yours, of, of, of hers. Well, from the sound of it, she doesn't sound like your average Jane. <laughs> She's my best friend. Well, you know, Ren has changed a bit in the past years. You saw it from... You saw a glimpse of her back in Zero, you know? What are you all standing around for? You're still only in the first half of level 4. Continue to waste time chatting and the sun's going down. Good job so far though, everyone. I'll keep navigating you, so be careful as you press on ahead. I got it. Uh, she's something else. Hmm, she's completely different, f different from Albert. All right, we gotta clear this trial, no matter what. Yes, I'll do everything I can to provide your, you your data. Thank you, everyone. So, Tita, how did you end up convincing Agate? Huh, he seems like a softy deep down. I'm guessing all you had to do was give him a single teary, doughy eyed look, right? Ah, uh, um. Wait, for real? To expand her potential. And now we know how she got here from Agate. <laughs> Got these guys first because I forgot to last time. I get. Let me go there, pretty, pretty please, and that's how it happens. Oh uh, jeez. Here I go. I'm going. Break, Break I'm through. Going. It's my turn. Now's a chance. My turn. That health regen there. Nice. It's my turn. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Here I go. Very well. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. All right. Yes. Come on. No. Very well. Ar Here I go. Arcus. Arcus. It's my turn. There we go. Is that all? Ooh, skull reach max level. That's pretty nice. Alright, down here we go. Next level. The elevator. We've reached the end of the first half. We're only halfway. Ugh. Even with the orbital gear, this is really darn tough. Yeah, it seems like the professor really turned up the um, difficulty this time. 
aside from that, we also don't have a, a clear leader to take point for us. Even when we split up at the naval f um, fortress, we still had Miss, An Miss Angelica with us. Uh, what's the matter, guys? Are at the end of your rope ball ready? If you're going to give up so soon, you'd... you should have let me know it from the start. I will, will, would have come with you. I've got a brief later, you know. If you keep going at this rate, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> uh, are you trying to piss me off? We were merely rushing for a moment. Such worries are unfounded. Just shut up and watch us. We're, we're, we're going to kick this, the second half's ass, and you can't do a damn thing about it. That's what I like to hear. But the second half is going to be even is going to be even tougher. So watch yourselves. In that case, let's keep up the momentum. I'll start the elevator. Yeah, they made it through the first half, okay? Yes, but they went over the estimates. Yeah, it seems like they were talking some things out. By the way, that pocket watch of yours looks like looks pretty elaborate. The one you fixed for me before was simple in comparison. This one has a number of additional functions, such as a built in um, such as a built-in calendar. Altogether, it has nearly a thousand different um, parts in it, ten times more than a typical pocket watch. Wow. I didn't realize it was possible to do so much without orbital energy. I can tell you've taken good care of it. In fact, it's hard to even tell it's antique. That's because it isn't an antique. It was created by a by a hopeless fool who passed away before his master. Wait, do you mean Elise's father? Yes, Franz Rydford. He was Gwyn's son-in-law and my first apprentice. This watch is one of the is one of the projects he created before the accident. In his honor, I'm using it until it breaks. I see. The explosion that, that took his life. And whatever is that serious expression for? Oh, it's nothing. There are too many things I'd like to ask him about, but now's not, now's not the time. Anyway, that machine of Titus is pretty impressive. I'm surprised she was able to build it herself. Hmm. It's not just some randomly thrown together project. She used solid design principles and technology. Unlike me, that that two-bit tinkerer Russell was blessed with a wor with a worthy su successor. Well, I think instructor Makarov and George are both pretty great. Instructor Reen, we're at the second area now. We're ready for your navigation. Got it. Be sure to proceed carefully. Understood. Alright, let's proceed to the second half. Keep up the good work, Tita. Of course, let's go everyone. Alrighty. I'll show no mercy! I'll show no mercy! It's my turn. Oh, I'll scan I'll scan these guys next. Let's go. East down. Island. It's my turn. Yeah. It's my turn! I must level 45, that's their hurt. What are Ouroboros' archaisms doing here? We'll need to secure it along with the area. Let's just break the damn thing! Charging complete! Let's open that up. <laughs> that's a really... <laughs> Not great sound effect they had there for Tito. Oh my god. Sounds very wrong. Scan these guys too. There's a bunch of scanning here. My turn. There. I land it. I'm going. Here I go. Yes. Ha. Here I go. I keep coming. My turn. Each down. Here I go. Yes! Yeah. It's my turn! Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. 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 Alrighty, let's go over here. We got 
chat shit on uh, at that dead ends. Ugh. Sounds like she's taking a shit. Got chess here. That's a new enemy, I believe. Gray matter, oh boy. Like she's having the time of her life. I think she's been through a lot. It shows with how well she can hold her own. There. Now that side's open up. Let's go down here first. Grab the chest that's up here. Chest. <laughs> That's a fucking sound clip, man. Oh, my God. They were no match for us. Okay, so we're back around on this side. They're in disarray. Very well. There. Yes. Um, it's down. I'm going. Brother Chief. It's my turn. I'm Good go. job. It's down. Place blocked off. Let's go over here then. Alrighty. Oh! There. Another chance. Yes. It's my turn. It's my yes. Let's go. Yes. Here I go. Yes. 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 Hit the switch. We're nearing the end here, for the most part. Open that up. All right, that's the last one. Try and head directly to your destination. There's a chest down here first, though. There. Treasure located. Ooh, pyre bell. Down. 
do 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 Very well. There. Here we go. Yes. I'm going. There. My chance. Very well. And, then, and um, this is the end here. We got the boss left. We can take a break here. I think we're just gonna, and I think we're just we're just gonna dive straight into this boss fight. Let me see here. Let's see, Altina. I guess I'll. I guess I will stick with this up on party here and see and see how it goes. What's that sound? It's it's above us. That flying archaism. I I've, I've seen this type before. They're called the pale apaches. The society sent them to attack to attack liberal. Technically, it's the Archaism we captured after the society let them run wild in the Northern War. I've improved both its firepower and, and mobility. It can now fight off invaders even when confined to a, a limited space. You made it stronger, crazy old bastard. Why would you do that? I warned you, they need to be able to handle this. Let's see how all your class 7 does with um, Tita. This will be the last of our three month operational testing. Bring it on. You guys ready? I am. Let's turn this hunk of metal into, into, into scrap. Look out for attacks from up above, from above. The key to this battle is working with the old gear. Are you ready, Tita? Ready. Maximum ammo. Output. Alrighty, here we go. What a passionate foe. It's my turn. I'm going. Alright, so Tita Tita Fajita. Um Oh, she got fucking. Oh, sh oh, she got fucked. Okay. It's my turn. Nice job. Nice it's job. Turn. See, it's weak to fire, huh? That's pretty good. So she has no S craft, so I can just go wild with her crafts here. I'm going. Do that too. Go. That did hit. Good job there. Could we broke him. Yes. Too far off, huh? My chance. Super burst. My turn. There. It's mine. Here we go. Wide open. Too slow. This. Very well. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, that BP up is so good. Oh god. My turn. It's my turn. That was pretty easy. <laughs> wow. Work, everyone. Huh. 
Uh, I think we won. Looks looks like it. That was that was nothing, is what I like to say. The professor certainly has a knack for create for creativity. I had no idea he was going to do all this. Hey, at least we won. Think about it. We'd be in Archaism without Instructorine. We You did. Well done. That enemy was the was the absolute hardest on um, these trials had to offer so far. You pulled through without guidance from me. You made your own dis you and you made your own decisions. Trusted in each other. Class seven, thank you for showing me what you're made of. You should be proud. Well, instructor. Huh. Now, regarding your oral gear, I believe you know what I'm gonna say, right? Yes, sir. If I made a, a few tweaks here and there, I would have achieved smoother and more coordinated movements. I still pale in comparison to Grandpa and Mom. Bah, no need to say the obvious. That said, you've done the minimum to pass your trial. Keep working at it. Uh, um, of course. Thank you, Professor. You're great, Tita. If he's gonna tr try and be nice, he, sh he can also try sounding nice. That's asking too much of him. Oh yes, I almost f um, forgot the level 4 trial is, a is now officially complete. I'll be winning at the entrance. Alright, time to head back. It'll be a while before our next one, so I'm guessing. Knowing the professor, he already has the next one brewing. Hey, don't jinx us. To leave for jinxing will probably happen soon. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Ooh, nice. That's a new quartz. L Lunar Geyer. Ooh, that's pretty good for arts, actually. Let's head back now. Yep. Thank you, everyone in class seven. I was able to get a bunch of good data thanks to you. No, it is us who should be thanking you. <laughs> Once you're done fine tuning that thing, let me take it for a spin. You're too big, Ash. Actually, I would really appreciate it if each of you tested it out individually. I can't have all the data be for me or it'll end up skewed. <laughs> Feel free to ask us anytime. Good luck with the final touches, Tita! Thanks! <laughs> that's the same fucking voice clip. I swear that's the same goddamn voice clip from clip from the from, from the fucking shop. Oh my god. I'll I'll go put the orbital gear away for now. Thank you, Instructor Reen. Likewise, thank you for helping me out class seven. Are you going to make your make your adjustments right away? I sure am. First off, I'll disassemble all the parts and... For Disciple, you haven't forgotten, have you? Huh? Oh, that's right. The manual is arriving t um, today. But we're starting in two days, so you have until then. Feel free to make, adju to make adju adjustments until then, but you must also devote time to reading through the manual. Understood. Please excuse me. The manual for what? For for what, Professor? Hmm. It's for the Panzer assault training ex um, exercises. We will have access to a special practice machine for a limited time. A special practice machine. You'll hear you'll hear the details tomorrow. It's nothing to concern yourself with. Anyway, the past trials have supplied me with more than sufficient data. I already have ideas for further options. I see. So there won't be any new levels for a while, then. Not until my plan extensions are complete, anyway. You've been at least somewhat useful, so I'll call upon you when, they're, when they are ready. You and your students had, um, had best be prepared. 
Well, I wish you'd take our schedule into consideration, but... Thank you, prof prof thank you, Professor Schmidt. I feel like the trials here have helped both Class 7 and T to grow a lot. On top of that, you've helped with researching the Ion and fixing Valmar's sword. Stop it, there's no need to thank me. The only reason I'm here is to satisfy my own intellectual cur curiosity. Nothing more, nothing less. It's intellectual curiosity. You mean about or Ouroboros, the Black Workshop, and the Divine Knights? Well, you're half right. The Society continues to produce arch archaisms with technology beyond human knowledge. The Black Workshop, who are possibly the gnomes, are involved in the creation of combat shells, artificial humans, and the, and the Divine Knights. It goes without saying that a lot of them are, are annoyances, but as research subjects, they are more than adequate. Though it seems they allowed you, the Ashen Knights, and the Black Rabbit to slip through their grasp. Well, Altina and Valamar don't, re don't re remember anything from when they were created. And this ogre power of mine. I don't care about that. <laughs> The only thing about the only thing that interests me is the link between you and the and the and the divine knight. Jeez, this guy has some serious tunnel vision. But aren't you planning on to make to make a new type of panzer um um sold out with all the data you've gathered? There have been upgraded um versions since the civil war, but there haven't been any completely new new models. The development of those machines has been out of my hands since they started making any modifications. And why should I care? Panzer's soldats aren't even my invention to begin with. If, if anyone wishes to make a new one, they can do as they please. What? Wait a minute. You didn't invent Panzer soldats? I thought you said you made them by, um, by referencing the Azure Knight. I used the ancient robot, Ordine, and the, and the society's archaisms as a reference on point, and then designed a frame that could be mass-produced even without the Rhymeford company's technological capabilities. Afterward, I drew up plans for several, for several models and oversaw the completion of a Draken prototype a few months back. Invention, design, and development are three completely different things. I was only ever involved with, with design and, and development. It was in the design phase that I referenced the joint functions of the Azure Knight and Archaisms. Someone else came up with the basic um, concepts for the five models of Panzer Soldat. What? what? Who could? Who even could have? I found them among the notes that fool left behind after the accident ten years ago. It was obviously a dissertation he intended to submit to me. That is why I agreed to Kayan's request four years ago. I fleshed out the design on the notes and made it reality. I wanted my foolish disciple's final work to see the light of day. What's wrong, Rain? You you look a bit down. Did, did something happen at, at the keep? I heard the students tested the horrible gear all by themselves. No, it's not that. They did a good job um, today. It's just... Hey, Toa. Have you... Been able to get a hold of George recently. Hmm. I heard he's finally managed to join the lab at the Institute of Tech of Technology. He's been re he's been really um, busy lately due to his status as, as a special research um, student. I see. I found them among the notes that fool left behind after the accident ten years ago. It was obviously a dissertation he intended to submit to me. That is why I agreed to Kayan's request four years ago. 
I fleshed out the design on the node set, made it reality. I wanted my foolish disciple's final work to see the light of day. The professor's first apprentice, Franz Reinford. I wonder whether I should ask Elisa ab uh, um, about this. My apologies for the wait. Was there some holdup? It would seem we have a few guests for today. Now come in. Well, don't mind if I do. It's the harem boys. A purple lightning lady. Fee and Laura, too. Hey, long a month no see. I do believe it's been a couple uh, a month since we last met. Who would have thought we'd have ourselves a mini reunion like this so, so, um, so soon? Uh, haha, <laughs> how come? Y you're? It's been some time. It's a pleasure to see you again, Green, Miss Herschel. Ah, but seeing as how I'm not yet acquainted with all of you here, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Victor Arsade. I am the Viscount of Legram a town in southeastern Erebonia. I am also the captain of the Courageous. It is a pleasure to meet you. Holy crap. Never thought I'd be I'd get to meet the Radiant Blade Master himself. I assure you the honor's all mine. Ah uh, yes, I've heard about you from both my daughter and Sarah. I am grateful to you for letting your aid to the branch campus. Uh, well, I wouldn't say I do all that much. Judging from the fact that both the Viscount and Sarah are here, I suppose the next location for our field exercises must be a pretty special place, huh? Correct. I'm sure our shorter than usual prep period tipped you off, but our next set of field exercises will take place in Heimdall and the surrounding areas. As our location is only 30 minutes away, by train, we will depart the morning of instead of the evening um, before. It's this time of year when, this, when the capital celebrates the, the, the summer festival. So during the celebration, even the Courageous will be deployed on high alert. Since their duty coincides with our field exercises, I asked them to come meet with us. I see, but why are Sarah and Fee here too? Were Oro Boros or the Jaeger Corps sighted? No, the opposite actually. The Zephyr, the Red Constellation, Needhog, all of them. Even the core of the eastern half of the Empire have gone silent. The same can be said of Oro Boros and the Black Workshop. There have been no sightings of the Stalwarder or the Max Man either. Yeah, but it's looking like we've got a complete, completely um, different problem on our hands now. Oh, shit. Hmm? What now? I, I will explain. It would appear that enemy f um, forces have been infiltrating Heimdall on a large scale. Seems like they've got even more military strength than our friends in, in Ouroboros. Military strength comparable to Erebonia's. But, but that's... There's only one place that could be. The country to the east? Mm -hmm. We cannot name this country at present. The Heimdall Military Police and the Railway Military Police will, of course, increase security around the capital. However, <laughs> you're fucking photo freaking out about me. A consensus was reached between the Imperial Government, Heimdall City Hall, and the Imperial Family, as well as the Crimson Wings and Doors. As a result, we will be re um, requesting assistance from these three and the Bracer Guild. What? I thought the Bracer Guild was restricted in Erebonia. Yeah, those restrictions are going to be lifted. In return, the Bracers shall patrol the area around Heimdall, defending it from any enemy attack that may occur. I shall be joining them in, in this task. I see. Does that include the, the two guild branches in Heimdall that were closed down? Yeah, I don't know how serious they are about this, but it seems like we're going to get the go-ahead. But permission or no, if there's even a chance these punks are going to go around hurting people and destroying lives, there's no way we could just stand by. 
all those sprinters are are like that, so I gave HQ over in Le Mans City a, a, um, a ring, and they agreed to help out too. That said, there's still a bunch of little little stuff they, they gotta iron out. In any event, that is the current situation. Bristers are back in action, man. Viscount, Valestine. Regardless of what the government decides, I have no objection to the three of the of us fighting together. May I ask your your decision on the matter now? Very well. The Courageous has no objections. But yeah, not from us either. I'll pass this along to the higher ups. I guess you got a lot of on your plate now, huh? It'll be such a relief having you all there with us. Agreed. Thank you for your, for all your help, everyone. Victor versus Aurelia Wen. Oh boy. Now we need to prepare. Apologies, Instructor Herschel, but we'll be needing a travel plan ASAP. Yes, of course. Please excuse me. Well, I'm sure you all have loads loads to catch up on, so I'll make myself scarce. Later. My most sincere apologies for not greeting you earlier. It's been quite some time, Master. Five years since we last saw each other, I believe. <laughs> You've come a long way since, since then. You've brought your swordsmanship to new heights by training under both the Vander and our Sade schools. I am honored to call one such as you my disciple. Thank you, thank you for your, your kind words. She was your father's disciple. Yes, that is correct. Uh, she's totally different now than we met at the, the naval fortress. Yeah, I can really tell they're master and disciple. Oh, whatever is the matter? Uh -huh, don't worry about us. It's been a while, Viscount. About a year, I think. I'm glad to see you're doing well. It would appear you two have grown much since we last met. I have no doubt Master Kafai would be the would be delighted to, to um see you now. Well, I've got I still got a lot of growing uh, um I still got a lot of growing ahead of me. And I, I didn't expect to see Isra Sarah, much less Laura and Fee. I'm sure Fee will, will be um fighting as a brazer, but Laura, are you? No, I will not be there as a crew member of the Courageous. I will be going to Heimdall as a temporary assistance for the guild. We've really been working our asses off, but scraping together even um, enough bracers hasn't exactly been a cakewalk. Tobol's going to be our middle man on the Courageous, though, so that's a load off my mind. Because he'd be more help in battle, right? Now, now, that's rather rooted to Tobol, would you say? L Laura, I've heard that you, too, have mastered the final art of the Arsade School. We have ourselves a splendid opportunity now. What do you want to show me? Is that alright? But of course, we are fellow disciples. Besides, you've heard, haven't you? About the... Uh, about the... Um, the the warrior Schwarzer and I tr traded blows with the other day. The Steel Maiden. Saint Leanne herself. Yeah, her or practically had living legend written all over it. Well then, I ask that you lend me your aid. My fellow dis dis um, disciple, master of the Vander School, and great general. See whose power has been recognized by the l legendary maiden. I will challenge you, the golden Rakshasa. Excellent. However, before that, huh? It's been ten years since I first became your disciple. I believe I've finally earned this right. Today will be the day I test myself against the most powerful blade in all the Empire, and rise above him. I challenge you, Radiant Blade Master, Victor S. Arsade. Golden Rakshasa, Aurelia Le Guin, I accept your challenge. Oh shit, boys. Drama hype. <clears throat> How long have this, has the stream been going, actually? Hour and 14, cool. Alright.
her sword, Arcadia, and father's Galen Star, um, Galen Char. Ash can read? Yo, fucking Ash, he fucking joined the reading club. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Both are legendary blades forged during the War of the Lions. No, no kidding. They really do look similar. Indeed. Look, it's starting. It has been ten years since you mastered the Arsade style. Oh, you were joking, okay. After further teaching from Mateus and Zex, I believe it is safe to say you've advanced to your own style of Arsade. Master, you are at the pinnacle of the Arsade style. I'm certain you're aware that you've already surpassed the school's founder, the second in command of the Eisenritter. This is incredible. Look carefully. Do you see how they're reading e e how they're reading each other? Sure, but their movements are almost imperceptible. Ah, it's over. <laughs> Whoa, I couldn't even see them. Well done, my disciple. Thank you. At this precise moment, I am the stronger of the two of us, though I'm certain the battle would have gone differently. Had you not been injured? Did she just... I knew it. No. The result would have been the same. The moment you crossed blades with the Maiden, your sword skills reached their pinnacle. But I see you've realized the emptiness that comes with this achievement. Yes. Why do I follow the path of the sword? I finally understand what you were telling me. This must be where I begin my new journey. <laughs> Precisely. I have no idea what they're talking about. Don't worry, I'm close too. <laughs> uh, don't worry, you'll understand someday. That was a splendid match you showed us. Though it may be impertinent of me. Oh shit. I wish to fight as well. But of course, this will be an excellent opportunity. What? You are as incredible as ever, Master. It's true. This is the best gift we are able to give. Purple Lightning, Schwarzer, Lady Laura, and Sylphie. Allow us practitioners of the Arsade School to be your opponents. The Blade Master and the Rakshasa shall test your mettle. <gasps> are you serious? No way. This can't be real. Wow. You sure don't sound like you're kidding around. I believe this will be to your benefit as well, Sarah. Laura, Fee, Reen. I believe you will all gain something from this. Yeah, he's he um In CS2, like they say what he what like what the injury was, but he got like a permanent like Oh I, I forget if it, if it was like a bone problem, but he has like a he has a permanent injury from fighting McBurn in the Infernal Castle, yeah. Bye, Count. Well if you say so. Right. There's no way I can afford to miss this. I thank you for this opportunity. Good. That's the spirit. Demonstrate to us what you're capable of. Show us that you can reach the heights of skill. Yeah. Oh boy. So this fight, um, I'll be honest, I'm with you. If I die here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna 
I'm going I'm going to lure it straight back down to fucking easy. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Cause this fight is fucking crazy. Do 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 do. So that that's exactly what I'm doing here, Frodo. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So my strat here is a pretty much just rely on fee here, and and if you look at the guide, it actually says to do this too. Like the um the evade strat is actually really damn great here. Let me see. I, I actually can't change the change for quartz. Okay, well this is gonna be do 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 um oh ten percent evasion pog all right so I'm gonna change what what I'm I'm gonna change what uh what Kerr has equipped there go back to fee give her what give her serious yeah okay that's ten percent more. Okay, 59%. Let me go check out my accessories in a bit here too, because I'll be I'll be real with you, right? This fight, like I I don't have a good method of doing it without the fee of eight strat. Like it's like it's actually fucking crazy. Actually, hit two, I think, is pretty good here. Okay. Let me check out her equipment here. Because <laughs> they don't have any accessories equipped on us on them right now. I want to equip what Class 7 has on them right now. So I could see the full scale of what I could use here. Seven percent evasion. Okay, five percent. I think that is gonna be. I think that's the highest I could get right now. Oh, that. No, oh, that's fifteen. Oh shit. Yo, the evergreen. <laughs> Yo, evergreen with the fucking seventy-four percent evasion. 175% accuracy, oh dear god, okay. Um, so I might equip the Gambler mission here for the higher... I don't, I don't think I have, I don't think I have Wrath. I could check though, but I could, I don't think I have it. 7%, wait, uh... The Gambler might be the best thing I have here. The Panzer Goggles are also really great. Do, 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 do. Actually, I think the I think the master quartz I gave her actually does it does enable crits after after dodging. Yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Stronger counter attacks after evading. That's pretty good. Um. As for these guys, like I'm not too sure what, I'm gonna, what I'll do with them. Because honestly, like, Fee is the primary person, person, um, person to cheer. Let me check something here. Is there another evasion that I could use here, I wonder? I don't think so, but it's, it's worth just going through here and checking. Dude, oh! Eight per- oh no, that's a V2, okay. <laughs> I gotta go- for evade one, which I yeah, I think I will do. I th I think I will go for evade one here. 83 percent is pretty good. Uh, lastly, I'll check out the master quartz here and see if, if and see if there's any others for the for the sub master quartz. I mean that that could give more evasion. Uh, let's see here. Do 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 do. Oh shit, wait. Tempest won't be really great actually as like a... Ooh. Yo, that's fucking crazy. 
have her. Yep, she is not equipped. Oh, Kaleido. Cat is not really all that great, honestly, for her. You know, I guess it might be really great here because if they go for her with the high evasion, if I just count on the evasion, that could be really great. So I, I, I might go for that. Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll go for the Igus. That also has Adam Mentite Shield and Lock Crest. Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll go with this. I'll, I'll go with this and see how it goes. Touch Tank. You know, like, I would have liked it, like, her vision to be at at least 90, but 83 is still really, really great. Serene. Sarah, honestly, um... Yeah, Re Revolution, I think, is better for her. Hmm. Domin Dom Domination's not going to do too much here, honestly, I think. Uh... Okay, I'll just go with this and see how it goes. Um, I, I'm gonna equip Sarah and Lenore with some other stuff here. Ooh, that's pretty good. And Laura. Yeah, if I had two two evergreens, that'd be fucking incredible. <laughs> that would be freaking ideal if I had two evergreens. This is gonna be very interesting, oh god. <laughs> I won't go easy. This is a good opportunity. Not too bad. Oh yo, Fee evaded boys! <laughs> yo, let's go! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be very interesting indeed. Okay, um... I have to keep Brave Orders on mine here too, so... I don't know, like, either a Valiant of Hearts or a Lightspeed Flasher I think is gonna be is gonna be great. Or, actually no, fuck, Zephyr is really good too. Shit, okay, um... I would actually use Lord to cast Adamantite Shield here for these for these three. Let's go. And lock forty up. Lock crest up. Yeah. Zephyr waiting for the insight. Yeah. That could be really great. Good job there, feel oh, God. <laughs> the strats are, are, are coming in full force, boys. Full force. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing training here, Brosif. Alright, uh... Fuck. Um... Concealing winds. I don't, like, stealth, I don't find to be that helpful, especially with the evasion I have on, so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna use that. Let's see, what would be the best here? Uh, P. I think maybe tricycle would be pretty good. Ready? Yo, let's go, boys. Let's <laughs> go. Oh Jesus. Uh, 
I did, yo, that did no damage. What the fuck, Green? Oh God. Okay. Oh shit, boys! Here we go. Zephyr Wing, but here we go. <laughs> Pretty solid, actually. Let's keep going. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Okay, uh. My If he died, oh fuck. Okay, uh. Thanks, I'm just getting started. Job. Uh, my turn. Shit. Let's let's go. Arkin. Oh, she oh she healed, huh? Okay. Their fee. Okay. Uh. Thank you. Got it. It's down. Time to die. Ah shit. There it is. Unforgivable. Let's go. We can take out Victor here, actually. Okay, good. So, do this. Attack him. Attack him. Oh, we can win here. Oh, shit. Okay, do do that, right? Go with, go with Valiant Hearts. Reen is gonna finish them. Oh, let's go, boys. As bad as, as, as I thought it'd be. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, the the fucking feast rats there really helped. Oh god. And I guess reached max level there. Nice. Ooh, gravity on hammer. Ooh, that's really good. All right. All right, got it. Ugh. Ugh. We did some damage, but. It's like they're from another dimension. I must say, I'm impressed. 
green. You're displaying an admirable degree, um, degree of control over your powers. And Laura, your mastery of the Radiant Blade grows by the day. Sir. Thank you both for the training. Oh, you're too kind. It was my pleasure. So, you could lose there, progress still, but you m miss out on AP, I, I believe. Master, I'm afraid I must take my leave. Flora, Purple Lightning, Sylphid, I'm sure I'll see you all again soon. Uh, she certainly knows how to make an exit. Perhaps it's time for me to, to do the same. Father? Back on our side. You're not saying? I am. My blade has dulled cons con um, has my blade has dulled considerably. I first noticed it a year and a half ago. Wait. The Infernal Castle. The, the blazing demon did this to you. Yes. Oh here we go. His his black flames have taken a toll on my respiratory system. I'm fortunate in, in it um in that it has only affected my swordsmanship, but I don't believe I will ever fully recover. No. This is a concern, but not an issue. What do you mean? The sword is not the only means of cutting down an opponent. All you need is a purpose and opportunity. Discover these and you'll find a blade sharper than it than any steel. Huh, though I'm sure you all know that full well. Yeah, he has lung problems. Part of the intrusion. We heard we had some special guests, so we just had to stop by. Hee <laughs> hee. To be honest, we've been watching since the middle of the fight with Inspector Reen. Seriously, how did people even get that strong? I was un unable to measure their power. I sh should have recorded the fight. Guys. I was so focused on the fight, I didn't even notice them. Well. I hope you were all able to, to unlearn something. It was a it was a master class. By the way, Viscount, it's been quite some time since we since we last met. Huh. Back in Heimdall, wasn't that? And Matthias and Laura told me you had taken up the Vander Dual Blade style, is that right? It is. You have a Alexi to uphold. They say Roland Vander was an exceptional dual blade user. Uh, wasn't he Prince Strykel's friend and confidant? As a matter of fact, you all have an air of aptitude about you. Tell me, Irene, are they yours? That they are, Viscount. Allow me to introduce you to the new Class 7. Well then, Sarah, we shall go on ahead. We'll be waiting at, back at Heimdall f um, for you. Gotcha. I'll probably roll up some time this evening. Thanks for all the hard work, Mr. Viscount. You're, you're going to check in at the Exchange Shop 9 Volley, right? Oh, you gonna go see Jingo? That shop's got connections to the Bracer Guild. On top of that, they're plugged into the Informant Network. Sometimes even, even make deals with the Jaegers, too. Oh, I've just got a message from an informant of mine named named Mict. But don't you worry your pretty little heads about it. Uh, sorry about, about that ain't happening. We may need to investigate such an intriguing shop. As I'm sure you're already aware, everyone is to meet at Heimdall, yourselves included. It seems we'll be able to fulfill, to fulfill our promise at last. Yeah, I suppose we could call the gods' guidance. I'll get in touch with the others tonight. Gotcha, thanks. There's something I want to talk about, but I'll wait till then. B. No, B, don't leave. I heard from Sarah about the boss, Zeno, Leo, and also that man with the mask. Ah. Uh, in, ad in addition, I have heard news of the Steel Maiden, but it's quite perplexing. Judging by what I was told, she seems to be legitimate. The S in her family's name was taken from the Maiden's own family name, Sandlot. In that sense, it can be said we, we bear some re, some relation to her. However, we must leave this topic for for another day. Our duty now is to prepare for the current crisis currently awaiting us. Yes, sir. Roger that. Well, 
then, I'm off to go take care of some business myself. I'm planning to hop right onto the train afterwards, so let's say our, our, our tearful farewells now. Sure thing, we'll see you again soon. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Way you guys are talking. Sounds like our next field exercises are gonna be in Heimdall. <laughs> Oopsie. We, we were careless. I see, now I understand. Looking at the schedule, I expected an another to be announced soon. Uh, please keep it a secret from every one else, okay? It'll be announced on Wednesday along with the, with the schedule and all the details. No worries, our lips are sealed. It's already evening. Seems a little too early to go back to the dorm though. I'm not likely to have a lot of free time at the start of next week, so I'd probably better take care of things now. Man, today's match sure was an unexpected blessing. I feel like I can finally apply the things I learned during my match with the Maiden. Oh, Reed's, Reed's S-Craft got upgraded to 7 slash Shred the Leaves. What was that attachment I got? Reen's headset. Oh, for the... <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's take a look at the guide here. I haven't had to use it all, um, all stream. So we have a character now if we talk to someone at the radio station. Oh, here. Alright, cool there. Monk Pog. We got a love interest for a monk, which is pretty nice. Schmidt at the hangar. We could we could challenge him to Magic Masters. And an event at the bath, too. Okay. This place looks really great during sunset. <laughs> Fucking Dan Schmidt boys, here we go. Let's begin. Alright. Uh I think this is pretty pretty alright. Should be pretty damn easy, honestly. The that card is freaking broken as shit. Ooh, two crystals, poggers, poggers. Easy enough, alright. And next up we have Oh yeah, the the event at the bathroom, right? So come my penis. Uh, it's, it's it's nice to see all the students growing up. Each and every one of them has made progress one way or another since they started here. At this rate, not just class 7, but all our students will. Ah, uh, no one's here. Looks like I got the whole bath to myself, I hope that's okay. 
That's that's uh, Tita's boy. She must be done with her with her maintenance. I guess the training must have um, pooped her out. What? Tita, are you are you okay? <laughs> Inspector Reed, uh, I'm okay. I just I just I just I, I slipped and fell into the bath. Stay calm and take deep breaths. Are you bleeding? I can go get Linda if you if you need her. Oh boy. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Sorry to got so much trouble. <laughs> it's fine as long as you're okay. You sure you're okay, right? If you got even a little suspicion you're hurt, you should go see the nurse. I'm okay. I really am okay. I I I promise. I think the worst thing that happened was I swallowed some of the water. Oh well, that's a relief. But you know, you really are dependable, in Instructor Rain. Rain is such a dad. Yo, he really is though. Just now, you were quick to give good, clear advice. I can see why Muse and you know put their trust in you. Well, I've still got a lot to learn about, about being an, an, an instructor. I don't even know if Yuna and Ash can have fully ex accepted me yet. I don't think you should worry about that. Instructor Reen, you really remind me of two, of of my two favorite people. Oh, are they the ones you were giving presents to? Right, these two. They're sort of like my big brother and sister. A calm and composed big brother, and a big sister as reliable and bright as the, as the sun itself. I get the same feeling you're... I get the same feeling you're from you, in, in, Instructor Rain. Why, thank you. I, I'm honored. You're talking about Estelle and Joshua Bright, aren't you? Don't worry, I didn't get that from the intelligence division. Their father... Brigadier General Cassius Bray also studied the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Uh, that does sound familiar. I don't know him directly, but I've heard my master talk about him. That's why I know about those two. Joss was originally from Erebonia, right? Yeah. They're both bracers, so they tried to get into the Empire to help the Bracer Guild, but for some reason they couldn't get a permit from the authorities. I see. They're probably under heavy surveillance along with your best friend. Cassius Bright? They're being treated as wild cards that could disrupt the political situation in Erebonia. I thought that might be the case. Both of them? No. All three of them are amazing um, people who saved all of the world from, from, from um, danger. Just like the birdcage around Crossbell, they're being prevented from getting into, er into Erebonia. <sighs> Why do they have to... It'll be okay. A chance will come. Tomo was blocked off for years, but we were able to take the whole branch campus there. Oh? I and many others are all, all working towards towards change here in Erebonia. Prince Oliver, the Bracers, people affiliated with Thors, even people in the Burl and Crossbell, we're all working together. And I do believe no matter how complicated, how frightening, how frighteningly difficult the situation becomes, we'll overcome it. I know we will. So take a deep breath and keep doing what you can do to help out. We'll change things one day. Yes, of course. We've had Cassius Bright name dropped twice in one chapter, oh boy. Sorry to get on such a serious topic in the bath. Oh no, it's okay. I feel better after, after talking with you uh, about all this. I'm glad. I appreciate your determination, but don't forget you're still a student here. I can tell me to keep an eye on you and make sure you don't overdo it. And don't forget to be careful in the bath, okay? Huh. I feel like I've got an another person who who worries about me now. I'll take that I'll, I'll take that advice to heart. Alrighty. So we have a quest up next, I believe. Let me see here. Oh yep, here we go. <laughs> Oh boy. Yep, so we're gonna make our way to the swimming club. And that, that alright, that's simple enough. Okay, cool. Let's let's make our way there. Yeah, he 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 kinda like I think he's I think he's only twenty, which is really funny to me. Forget reading the harem guy, he's reading the dad. 
Yeah, he 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 kind of isn't that now. Well, Maya, are you ever not training? Oh, this is the wrong quest. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Instructor Reen. Wow, she sounds lifeless. And her aim seems seems really off. It's not like her. I mean, I know she probably hasn't had a chance to practice, what with the exams and all, but but this is dire. Hey, you seem kind of un unfocused. Is everything okay? I'm a little off, yes. But don't worry about me. I'll be fine by our next field exercise. Did you need something? Something must be wrong. Maybe we should try to find out more. My, it's, it's something the matter. You can talk to me about anything. Huh. No. Nothing I need to talk about to talk about anyway. In fact, I could use some, some time alone. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't leave much to go on. But I can't just ignore this, can I? I should, I should talk to the other girls in combat tactics, see if they can tell me anything. Um, um, Randy might know something too. Maybe I should go talk to Sydney too, since he and Maya are both snipers. Let's go to the pool quest first, though. Oh wait, is it not here? Where is it actually? It's at the. It's at the. Oh the oh, I've just talked to Altina. Okay. Third floor of the of the, of the clubhouse. All right. Suck my dick, suck my dick. All right, here we go. Hmm. How can we make this practice as engaging as it was yesterday? Huh, if only we had a good plan. That being said... Oh, it's Ah, oh, it's the whole swimming club. Except you're all out of the water, what's going on? It's not really a big deal. We were just about to start club activities, but... Then we started talking about yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday's pool time was a real treat. Made for a good amount of, of training, too. I indeed. I had achieved my quota before I even realized it. I see. You guys were having so much fun with everyone that it didn't feel like training. I kind of understand how you might have had a hard time trying to top that. That's exactly what we're talking about. Even though the field exercises are coming up, we're in the, we're in the peak of, sw of swimming season. Yeah. So we, w we want to get... A, a really good practice in today while we could. Hmm. Why don't you challenge Yuna and the others? I'm sure they could spare some time. We thought about that, but wouldn't we be imp imposing upon them? Yeah, I mean they all just went swimming um just just yesterday. Well, it doesn't hurt to, to at least ask them. I'll bring you up with them too. Ah oh, shit. Okay. Reen re contacted the other members of Class 7. Ah, I love how freeing the pool is. Even if some of us aren't diving in. It certainly is a good way to beat the heat this time of year. Can't complain about the eye candy, either. Speaking more practically, it's also a good way to train one's body. Huh, now you're speaking in my language. Thank you for coming, everyone. Since we're all here, it'd be great to have a little competition. Maybe we could have we could pit four uh, members of the swimming club against four members of class seven. If we don't want to just end in a tie, we might want teams of odd of odd numbers. How about we do a three? How, uh, how about we do three one on ones then? In that case, I will swim for class seven. Huh. This should be fun. Well, no point in wasting time. Let's get started. If it's alright with the rest of you, I'd like to volunteer for the first race. Wayne's the first competitor for, from, this, this, from the swimming club. Who's racing for, for class 7? Let's see. We should probably save Kurt and Ash for later. Let's do... Mise. Actually, let's do Yuna. Alright, I've got this. Best of luck. Oh, 
Alrighty, here we go. Oh, fuck. Let's have to be a uh, master master here. Yeah, first one's ours. Impressive work, you know. You swim so well, I'm almost jealous. Uh, sorry, team. Hey, it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, this party's just getting started. That was round one. So, who's next? I suppose I'll give it a go. Okay, the swimming club club's um, second entrant is Sark. How about you, Class 7? Let's see. If Starks are our opponents, I don't see any way I can win. I have to withdraw. That's fair. <laughs> Very well. I'll take him on. Best of luck. That was close. Phew, that was no easy victory. Good job, Kurt. What a thrilling race. Well, that was embarrassing. Did Sark just lose? Wow, class 7's um, tougher than they look. Hmm. We've seen it. We've seen impressive work from both teams so far. But it all comes down to this final round. I don't even have to ask who's racing for the swimming club. Yep, it's my turn. You guys ain't see nothing yet. Oh, here comes Leo. She'll be even tougher than a tougher challenge than Stark. In that case, count count me out. I wouldn't stand a chance. Fair enough. Well, if nobody else is volunteering, you can do this, Ash. I shouldn't need to say this, but don't take her lightly. Was that a tie? Oh, I got first, what the hell? Okay, I'll take it. That was really close though, my god. Damn, I'm glad I won and all, but I'm wiped out. That was one heck of a race. You really managed to beat Leonora. Unbelievable. Yikes, that was embarrassing. Please don't be so hard on yourself, you did very well. Yeah. Just because you can chalk up a, a, um, a win, doesn't mean you weren't amazing. These kids are incredible swimmers. Might be time to call it a day though. You all look like you're having fun. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wait, that voice. Oh boy. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I've been watching your races. Now, Schwarzer, isn't it time to show your students how it's done? You, you don't mean it gets you, do you? After our sparring, after how our sparring went yesterday, I can't imagine. Don't tell me you've lost your nerve. A loss yesterday doesn't preclude a victory today, after all. Now take your position, Crawford. You'll be our referee. Oh, uh, 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 yes, ma'am. Oh boy. The principal never fails to come in like a storm. I have to admit, I'm, I'm riveted. Bluntly put, I can't imagine things will be any different from yesterday. Reading the mean machine boys, here we go. Now now, we don't know that yet. If anyone can pull a miracle of, can can pull a miracle of victory from, from the jaws of defeat, it's Inspector Reen. Do you want you wanna put uh, money on that? Could you not? Now it seems we are both ready. Crawford, count us off. I may not be a match for her swordsmanship, but when it comes to swimming, I might have a chance. No choice but to give it my all. 
Ah oh boy. Shit. I, th I think she won. Fuck. I'll, I'll, at least I can I'll try again. Okay. Oh my god, woo. That was close. Oh, he won? He beat the principal. I don't believe it. I always believed in you. I I always believed in you, Instructor Ring. Well, glad I didn't bet against him. Ah, oh, did I really just win? Aha! Briefly done. You found your way to victory. Let's see if you can do the same next time we spar. Honestly, I think I just got got. I think I just got lucky. Well, at least you were you were um, able to set a, a a good example for the students. Now, since I have a little extra time, I am willing to accept any and all challengers. Any, any takers? Oh boy. Fuck. <laughs> right now, no, that's done. Let's progress with Maya's quest now. I'm surprised then Musei tried to hug Rina in the swimsuit. It could have happened off screen for all for all we know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go talk to Leonora or Altina at the pool. Hey, Leonora, can I ask you something? Hmm? What's up, in, in what's up, instructor? Maya, huh? It does seem like she's been kind of off lately. I've heard that she doesn't get along well with her with her father. So she can finally calm down. Oh God. Could that be related somehow? Yeah, that could be it. From what I've heard, she really loved him when she was younger. Oh? Yeah, Maya's dad used to be some sort of big shot sniper. But more than 10 years ago, he suddenly re re ret um, retired. Since then, his personality has been changing little by little. That's all, I, that's all I know, though. That's more than I knew. Seriously, thank you for telling. Don't mention it. Next up, we talk to... Luis or Yuna at the field, okay. <laughs> oh, Jessica, there was Something I wanted to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Maya. I did notice that something had been off with her lately. The only thing I could think of might be that might be the cause is the fe the feud between her and her, and her father. Hmm. Maya's mother was from the east, but she passed away two years ago. Yeah, she never really got along with her father. She said. Their, their relationship only um, worsened after her, her mother passed away. Uh, I see. Hmm. That was helpful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Now to the now to the now to um, Lapin Boutique here. Hey, Sydney. Can I ask you something, Instructor Reen? What is it? Maya? Huh. Ah, oh, it's gotta be that. You you have an idea? Yep. She recently got a new scope for her rifle. Oh, I had noticed. Yeah, she got it just before the midterms. I saw her rifle at the shooting range and something looked different. When I took a closer look, I saw that her scope was brand new. I see. So it's probably nothing to worry about. It 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 always um it always takes some time to adjust to new equipment, you know. I'm sure Maya will get the. We'll get the hang of it sooner or sooner or later. Ah, that's a good point. Thanks for the info. It was really helpful. 
Hey, no, hey, no, no problem. And next up, we're going to go to the training room on the, the first floor. All right. Over here we go. Hey, Randy, there's something I, I have to ask you. Hmm? What's up? Maya, huh? She didn't have any problems l l last I saw. You mean during the training exercises we had b before the midterms? Yeah, sometime last week. Though she did run into her, in into her old man and Raquel on our last field ex um, ex exercise, right as he was hitting the bottle, too. After that, she seemed like she was down for a while, sure. So that happened while we were at Raquel, huh? Yeah, her, her distrust towards her father finally oh, boiled over and she went off on him right then and there. But during our next operation, her shooting was as great as ever. So I, f I figured she got out of her system and there wasn't anything to, to worry about. Then, do you think something else might have happened recently? Hard to say. Issues like this can be pretty can be pretty delicate. I think for the time being, all we could do is we keep an eye on her. Yeah. I think I was able to speak with pretty much everyone. I have a I have a, a better idea of what's going on with Maya now. I should I should go talk to her again. All right, at the training grounds. And Instructor Rain, I believe I told you that we don't need to talk. I know, I know, but just hear me out. I want to talk to you about your dad. But why would he want to do that? But don't you know want to know why your why your your shooting is off? It's definitely not because you just changed your changed your scope. You know, I changed my scope. To be honest, no, not until Sydney told me. I also learned a bit about your dad, but Maya. None of that helped me f f um help me figure out what's on your mind. Could you tell me? What a pain! I suppose I can't dodge this conversation any any longer, can I? Sorry, um, well, nothing. I'm not persistent. So you want to talk to me about my father? He's he's a piece of shit. <laughs> so so I've heard, but I'm. I'm more interested in why you in why you in why you looked up to him when when you were younger. Because back then, he was more than that. There was a time when he was a lieutenant um, colonel in the imperial in the imperial army, a famous sniper. Now that I have now that now that I have any memories of that, he left the army when I was still very young. I knew him as a hunter and a logger, a reliable man who cared for his family. Until, until he started, he, until he started drinking, and the more he drank, the heavier a burden he became on my mother. If it weren't for him, she might still be alive t t um, today. Um, I'm sorry. Do you know why he left the army? I've always been curious, but whatever I asked, he'd either get angry or start crying. The other day, though, I learned something. He left the army right after the Hundred Days' War, and the noble general he he worked under. Helped mastermind the Hamel. Helped mastermind the Hamel in incident. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you how I found out. But if you didn't think he was a piece of sh a piece of shit all over already, you do now. Once I knew th knew that, the thought of using the same scope he did disgusted me. So you changed it up for a new one. Huh. I think I, I think I, I get it now. But if, but if anything, I feel for your father. Based on, based on your, your silence, I'm, I'm guessing you do too. The, 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 the decision to attack um, um Hamel came from on high. In that sense, I think your dad is, uh, is another the victim of the, of the tragedy. That may be true. But that doesn't change the fact that the Hamel incident happened. Nor does it absolve him of driving my mother to, to her death. You're right. But her passing must have hurt him, too. Even after death, he worked hard to try to support his family, you. If I may ask, what did your mother, what did your 
the mother think of your father? My m my mother was a very um, um, conscientious person. She would do backbreaking work for hours with, without a single complaint, and she believed in my father completely. So I wanted to believe in him too. But when I saw him in in Raquel, he was still the same piece of shit. I don't know how much more I can help. Honestly, it might all be on Maya's dad now. I do beg your pardon. Salson? Uh, what brings you here? A delivery for Maya. From your father, it seems. What? Talk about timing. What did he send to you? I can't imagine. A call? What's the um? What's the um? Letter say? <laughs> he stopped working odd jobs and he's gone back home t to work as a hunter again. He also says that he that getting you know, that at, by his only daughter really opened his eyes. Really? Yes. But he also says that he borrowed against his salary to buy this comb for me. Honestly. Well, that man never learned. <laughs> I don't know, I'd say it's a step in the right direction at least. Well, if the, if nothing else, he seems he seems sincere. If I may, what would you like me to do with this? I found it I found it in the trash, but since it wasn't broken, I held on to it. Just in case. Ah. Wait, Maya, is this the, the scope my father used to use, the one he passed down to me? I threw it away, thinking I never want to see it again. But I have to admit, the new scope just doesn't feel right. Sounds to me like you might want to switch back. Maybe I should. Selson, thank you for 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 salvaging this. Oh, no need to thank me. Huh, Selson's really something else. And instructor, I'll try to believe in my father just a little longer. Thank you for for talking with me. Haha, uh -huh, you're very welcome. Alright, now that that's done, that should be the- I think that's, that's the last quest here. Yep, now we just have some bonding events. And all of that jazz. And then, after that... Okay, yeah, cool, alright, cool. So, after we're done with this day, I'll, I'll, end, I'll end the stream. Alrighty, so... We are going to... So we have two bonding points here. Um, we have... We could hang out with um, Emma, Kurt, Sarah, or Muse. Let's see, I do kind of want to choose... I do want to choose um, Emma. I'll leave the other one to... Um, you there, Frodo. Let's do Emma first. Hi there, Irene. I just I hope the day has found you well. Selene and I are in Sutherland after a little something came up. I know it's far, but it's funny how we're still able to watch the, the sunset together. It's kind of romantic, huh? As, as much as I hate to say it, we haven't found any, any signs of Vita here. I wish that wouldn't make me feel so lost, too. We have Kurt, Sarah, or Muse. Then again, I'm steadily learning more magic by the day, so I know I'll find her. I'm sure you have your fair share of troubles, but remember that even a little progress is a step in the right direction. Bye. It's nice to hear an update from her, but finding Vita isn't going to be easy. All I can really do is pray she'll find find a clue of some kind. I am kind of curious about the magic she's she's learning now. You know what? Even. Even if I can't see her, I can still give her some some encouragement. Hi, Irene. How are you? Hey, Emma. Reading your your message got me curious. Seems like you're you're having a tough time finding Vita. Oh, oh, a little. Just when I th I think I found a nice lead, it ends up being another dead end. Yeah, that's the worst. If there's any way I can help you, just. If there's any way I can help you, though, just give me a call. 
I still owe you for the pendants. You don't owe me anything, Rain. But I won't say no to help. I could use it. Do you think we could help me practice some, some magic right now? What? Now? I see. So you require me to release my mana here. Yes, that should allow me to get a grasp on your position. Hmm? I still don't know what's going on. But this is what you, you need to finish your magic training, R right, Emma? That's, a, that's exactly right. I appreciate all your help. Alright, let's get started. Valmar, if you would. Understood. I got it. This is long distance teleportation activate. Th this place. The fragrance of lavender. Is this the is Mythia Great Forest? Are we all the way in Sutherland right now? It would appear so. Despite the name, I would not expect the long distance to a the portation spell to send us quite this far. Looks looks like it worked. Emma Celine! Long time no see. I haven't seen since Crossbell. I'm so glad to see you two are, are, are doing well. Good. It seems like it's working just fine. I heard about your training with Celine. I'm glad to see you've you've mastered it. Yeah, it's been a big help. Thanks again, Emma. You're welcome. From the sound of it, though, it seems like you've been using it a little too much. I was also told you took the pendant off during your last field exercises in order to use your power. Oh, uh, Gaius or Emilia must have told her. <laughs> I'm sure everyone who was there's who was there scolded you for all already, but so I'll leave it at that. A hug would be nice. But please, don't push yourself too hard. Both Sully and I are worried about you. Yeah, I know. Thanks, and sorry. But anyway, I was pretty surprised to suddenly show up here. It seemed different from this than the spirit pads we used during the Civil War. That's right. This was a type of spell, though I had a little help. It takes quite some time to prepare, and it uses a, up a lot of mana, so I can't use it that that often. Even so, it's amazing. Huh. Guess you've become quite the witch, huh, Emma? Oh no, I still have so much m more to learn. I'm not anywhere near as skilled as Vita or our grandmother. I re remember Celine mentioning her before. Out of curiosity, what's your grandmother? What's your grandmother? Um, like Emma. Celine made it sound like she doesn't really look the part. Uh, well, she's very good at taking care of uh, taking care of people. When it comes to magic, she can be extremely strict. But other times, she can be quite the tease or even get a bit wild. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Just recently, she left the village without telling anyone. I wonder what she's up to. Huh, it seems like her and Evita both give you both would give you trouble, huh? Maybe, but I also um, respect and love them both. They're both superb witches, and they can use all sorts of spells I can't. But the more I continue my training, the more I start to think. That bringing my sister back to back and re returning things to the way they used to be is, 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 is just a dream. Emma. It'll be alright. Back when we were students, you always support us from behind the scenes. During our field studies for school events, you you even revealed your true identity during the, the Civil War just to, just to help us. We got through it together not because of what spells you knew, but because you, Emma, supported us. Even now, I wouldn't be able to suppress my power without your help. I'm so grateful for everything you've done for us, and I'm happy it was you who served as our class president. Uh, 
That's why I and every other member of Class 7 will guarantee it. You will definitely be able to bring back Vita. Thank you, Rain. I guess I was just feeling a bit down since I haven't been able to find any leads on Vita lately. Maybe deep down in my heart, I was hoping you'd cheer me up, calling you all the way out here, telling you it was for magic practice. <laughs> Maybe it was a little selfish of me, now that I think about it. <laughs> I come to your side to, um, to help you, and no matter how far away you were. Believe in yourself, Emma. Just like the, the just like the rest of us do. <laughs> All right. Oh, Celine. Ray for with that one, nice. Let's see, so we... So... Sarah is kind of tempting, but I think I recall what event this musée is, this musée one is, and I think I, sh I think I should probably show it off. Oh, it is this one, okay, okay, yeah. We'll do the musée one then. Hmm. Del Madla and Amaltimus. Are those Vantage Master Cards? Where do you go up to, Musée? Heh <laughs> Oh, just a little, um, fortune telling. I heard you could use these cards like you would tarot cards. Is there anything in the future you'd like to know about? The future? You mean like field exercises? Something like that. Although I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble interpreting the meaning behind the cards. Let's just say it means your destiny is, is in your own hands. Oh, I hear you're really good at Vantage Masters. How about we take a break and have a match? Why? I'd be honored to have a match against you in, in, in um, Instructor Rain. Oh my god. What the fuck happened outside? Is that a truck? Okay, I, I think it was. All I ask is that you be gentle with me. Our, um, our masters destroyed each, um, each other. That makes it a tie, no? I didn't expect such a heart-pounding match. You're amazing, Instructor. So are you, M Muse? I re remember thinking this when we were at the at the at the um, casino in Raquel. But you sure are good at these kinds of games, aren't you? Is it your grandfather's? Is it your? Is it your grandfather's influence? Indeed. He taught me a lot about card and board games. My father would often play against me, too. Before he passed away, um, that is. Your father. He passed away about ten years ago, didn't he? Yes. I was about five or six at the time. He trained me so well I would occasionally beat him in chess, too. Wow. So I guess he, even at a young age, you were, you were talented. So then. When are you planning to show us your true strength? Oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I can tell you weren't giving it your all in our match. You were a much more f fearsome opponent when you were up against the that um, Jaeger at the casino. Like I said before, everyone in Class 7 supports each other. If they're giving it everything they've got on your behalf. Isn't it unfair if you don't do the same? You truly are amazing. I would be more than honored to show you the full extent of my gaming cap capabilities. However, there will be one condition. A condition. Oh, we got a spam here. Already? The winner will get to make one demand of the loser. Um, that's... Uh -huh. A serious bout should feature a serious prize. Wouldn't you agree? Should you manage to win, I'll do anything you ask. Anyth 
Or any, um, anything at all. Whether you request to spend a romantic evening with me under the stars. Or if you want me to tell you the reason why Jesus and Patrick were acting the way they were in, in, in La Mer. Honestly, I was I'm curious about that. Is something going on? That said, I'll put a handicap on myself. If you manage to defeat me once out of three games, you shall have your reward. However, if I win all three games, I shall be the victor and take you as my, as my prize. Well, well, you're that confident, huh? I just need to win once out of three games, but even that might prove a challenge. Alright, I'll, I'll agree to your terms. There's no way I could back down now. Alright, let's get our decks out and do this. Very well, if that's what you want, then I won't hold back. Tchah. You, you, you got me again. And this brings us to our final match. As things stand, I'll feel I'll be able to win this final match with ease. Man, these decks should be pretty... Even, but you're still just you're still destroying me. Who knew experience with the games would make such a huge difference? I said, still I doubt you'll be able to turn the tides at this point. Well, whatever will you do now? This was never a fair matchup to begin with, so if you forfeit now, I'll cancel our. No, it's still too too early to throw in the towel. I've got what part of my deck I could use to turn things around. If I manage to draw for. You defeat me, I can make a comeback. Oh? I suppose you're right. Your chances your chances of winning are greater than than zero, if only slightly. That's all I need. Unfortunately, I'm not the type to give up. Let's take this match to a ten, Musée. Bring it on. The heart of the cards, boys. I got it! I summon I summon Grayon! It, it, it attacks your master twice. Ah, my master's health is zero. I lose. Haha! -ha! I actually did it. <laughs> Seems I underestimated you. I didn't think you could pull off such a comeback. I had full control of the board. Yet you still managed to thread a narrow path to victory. Yeah, but it came down to, to the wire. In the end, they had to rely on my luck. Your ability to analyze a, 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 to analyze a, a situation and predict your opponent's actions is amazing, but not every, but not every, um, everything can be planned for. As we've seen on our, on our field exercises, unexpected events can happen at any time. Understood. It was a fine lesson in, it was a fine lesson instructor. I will I'll keep it near to my heart. Now, what will you have as your prize? I was the one who set the, the rules for our matches, so please don't hold back. Tell me whatever it is your heart desires. But I'm sorry you'll plan to ask about... No, I won't. I am curious about the circumstances, the circumstances at, at La Mer. But I'm sure that there's an important reason that Jesus and Patrick won't say anything. I don't feel like it's right for me to ask about it like, like this. But more importantly, I'm glad that I was able to bring the best out of you. Nothing could make me prouder as an, as an, as an instructor. Oh? Oh yes, how very lucky you, instructor. And that is the reason I want you, for the future. And yet, a promise is a promise. Please choose one of these two cards. Huh? What are you up to? Oh yes. Oh <laughs> uh, jeez, I'll choose this one. You choose Fiefnell, so... You win the I'll wear my school uniform and clean your ears prize. Hold on a minute, I really don't, don't need a prize then. There is no use trying to refuse, after all, it would bring shame to a woman of the Empire, were she to not keep her promises. Surely you're not trying to make me do anything shameful, Instructor Reem. Uh, no, but 
<laughs> well then, I'll go get changed. So please lie down. <laughs> her, her, her fucking VA is like so good. <laughs> I think she does do something else if you pick the if you pick the um, other option. I forget what it is though. Okay, we max her out. And that I believe is the last events for today. That yeah, so we're gonna just go back to the dorms now. And because we and because we did Toa's events back in the morning. There's actually an additional event that will happen during this during this evening, so we'll do that now. Yeah, that's the Saint that's the Saint Australia one. Ear cleaning like it kind of feels good. <laughs> I can see why it's considered erotic. I don't know. I think if you choose the other option, she gives you a, she, she gives Reen a shoulder a massage. I think. I think that's what she does. That song was called Under the Bright Shining Sky, and it was beautifully performed by a remarkable young musician named Elliot Craig. Speaking of the sky, his popularity has been skyrocketing. Fun fact, the piano accompaniment was played by his sister, a famous pianist in her own right. Rumor has it, he'll be releasing a new record soon, and I absolutely cannot wait. Next up, we've got some letters from our listeners. Let's see. Wow. His music's getting played on um, open time. Elliot must be really um, giving it his all. And the piano accompaniment must have been Fiona. I'm glad the two of them can play together. It'd be great to hear him play live. Maybe I'll ask him about it when I see him in Heimdall. Mints. Could she have been any more obvious? And Missy's advice was way too on the nose. Yo, yo, V is fucking amazing. That about wraps up this week's show. Like I mentioned earlier, Heimdall Summer Festival starts next week. I hope you're all able to enjoy the festivities and maybe have a tearful reunion with some old friends. Hey yo. Summer's finally in full swing now. Keep an eye out for sudden shifts in the weather and make the most of your time. My name is Misty and I'll be signing off. I hope to see you all again next Aubin time. Shifts in the weather? What did she mean by that? No, I shouldn't put too much weight on her on her words. I'm swamped with I'm I'm, I'm swamped with grading tests, pastors, sold out training and field exercises as as it is. 
Oh, and I made that promise to, to Toa, too. Alright, everything should be set now. Oh, it's almost time. Oh, there he is. Good evening, Rain. It's good to see you again. Hey, Elisa. You too, Emma and Machias. Sorry I'm a little late. No, no worries, we just started the call now. This feels kind of strange, considering we just saw each other. Well, I'm guessing you returned to Aventime, right, Rain? You tuned in to Aventime. Oh yeah. You too, Machias? Her timing is too perfect to be coincidence. I was listening too, and that woman is so frustrating. <laughs> Fucking Selene has her own. Selene has her own phone. That's my head kind of now. I was listening too, and that woman is so frustrating. We're running all over trying to find her, and she's just and she's just um telling us over the radio. It does relieve me to hear her voice every week, though. Her broadcasts are pre-recorded, right? I wonder if anyone knows where she is. I haven't. Considering trying to, to track her from the recording she leaves, it would probably be better to ask Lisa and her father um, about her father some other time. What's wrong, Rain? Oh, it's nothing. Alright, our next field ex exercises are going to be in Heimdall. Ah, really? Excellent. That means, we can, that's, that means we can begin preparing for Class 7's reunion. Feels like it's been forever since the last time we were all together. Yeah, so true. We need to, um, to decide on a place and time. Let me know as soon as, soon as, you, you, as you figure something out. We'll, we'll need to contact the others. Elliot, Gaius, Jesus, and Milium. Alright. Will, will Fee, Lore, and Instructor Sarah be with you, Rain? I've heard some crazy rumors. Oh, actually. Before... Before we get to that, care to, care to tell us about Fluffy Mint from the radio? Uh, so it was you she was talking about after all. I figured that was the case as soon as Misty mentioned the capital. Now I'm curious. Give us the um, um give us the details, Rain. Isn't she one of the students who just who just joined your class? Well, I can't say for sure it's her just yet. It's probably just the Misty trying to trying to mess with me. That is definitely something I could see her doing. Yeah, so here's the um, extra event that comes if you if you repaired her um Toa's um telescope in in, in the morning. Alright, everything looks good now. Reen, can you come give it a good look too? Sure thing. Wow, this is amazing. The sky is just full of stars. It feels like I could r reach out and touch them. Right? Tonight's the perfect night for stargazing. Thank you, Reen. I'm so glad you went through the trouble of um, fixing my grandfather's telescope. No, thank you, Toa. Without you, I... Wouldn't have been able to get such an amazing look at the at the starry sky. Well, I guess we helped each, each other out then. But really, thank you, Rain, for always giving me strength and courage. I'm really grateful to you, even from back when we were students. Toa. Oh, there they are. This is where we're doing the astronomy lesson, right? Um. Looks like we walked in on quite the moments. That's not true. Settle down, guys. Looks like everyone's here now, so, uh, so let's get started. Wow, it's beautiful. You know, I believe it's proper to let the youngest go f go first. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna be the uh, be the youngest when it's convenient for you, is that it? My, but it truly is a gorgeous starry, starry sky we have over us tonight. I gave up on having this lesson at first, but we were able to make it happen anyway. Now I know that we can overcome anything together. Yeah, let's keep doing our best. Together.
Nice. And we, now we max out Toa. And this is actually a pretty good stopping point here for, for today. So we have the 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 soul dot training next up and then we have the field exercises afterwards so yeah um next time yep toa is indeed awesome next time we're gonna be finally um reaching our next field field study location so with all that being said thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you next time for some more trails of coal steel 3 have a fantastic day and goodbye